Hey, what's up guys? Daniel here in the tech studio. My keyboard crapped out on me, so now I need a new one. But whatever will I choose? And how do you know which keyboard is right for you? Let's get into it. All right, so I boiled down my search to two $30 keyboards. The Edjo Wired Gaming, Gaming keyboard and the Artec Bluetooth keyboard. I chose these because, well, my last keyboard died and I wanted something a little bit smaller. So with the Edjo, we have a wired backlit keyboard with all kinds of cool LED tricks. My personal favorite is the ghost effect while you're typing. It's kind of neat. Round keys as opposed to regular square ones because I think it looks kind of cool. Media keys controlled through the function key, which is definitely not my preference. 87 keys and support for all operating systems. And of course, red switches, which gives it this satisfying, beautiful click. Now the Artec is totally different in just about every single way. So in it, we have wireless Bluetooth connect up to three devices at once, which is pretty cool. Compatible with all operating systems. It even has the command and option keys for Mac. Six month battery, not, not six days, not, not six weeks, six months. No backlight, but fully functional media keys, which is my preference. Traditional scissor keys, so it feels like a laptop keyboard. And honestly, my favorite feature that should be on every keyboard is a cradle for your phone and your tablet. So if you go on Amazon and type keyboard, you're going to get a million different keyboards in all kinds of shapes and sizes and colors. So how do you choose one? Well, it pretty much boils down to two genres of keyboards. You have gaming and then everything else. And of those two genres, you have to choose between wired or wireless. The gaming keyboards are all the rainbow backlit keyboards that you're going to see on there. And most, if not all of them have traditional switches and keys, which can be swapped out and changed. And with that is the amazing sound and feel of your fingers flying across the keyboard. Now, if this loud, dumb keyboard offends you, then you're going to want to go with a traditional keyboard. Now, these are much less customizable, but they're definitely functional. It's a keyboard and it simply does what it's supposed to do. Now, even with these, there's a style for everyone from cool color combos to retro to hexagonal keys. So if you already have an idea in your brain of what you want, now you have to choose between wired and wireless. But wireless does not mean pure bluetooth check the description first most wireless keyboards use a usb receiver which in effect is the same thing as having a wired keyboard just without the wire a usb port still has to be occupied the artec does not use a usb receiver at all it is pure bluetooth have i done a sound i haven't done a sound test have i The Edjo feels like an event when you're typing. There's a reason these style of keyboards are so popular. It feels amazing. But disclaimer, to be mindful of others if you're in close proximity to them using one of these gaming keyboards because they will hate you and your loud ass keyboard. Especially if you're in a meeting and all we hear is this. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. So be mindful of others. Be kind. So here's the thing. I do software, right? So I have to take care of my eyes and my hands. These are the money makers. I mentioned this because the Edjo is a little too tall for me. And I realize I'm putting my wrists at a very unhealthy angle. The ideal ergonomic position for your wrists is a flat 180 degrees. Now the Artec is very low which allows my wrist to be as flat as possible it is the ideal keyboard for me the keys feel really good it has media keys so i don't have to press the stupid function button and then the volume button like some kind of caveman you just press the button and it just works i don't get why like half of keyboards are like this what, what's what what do you got against having a volume key why do i need to press two keys to turn down the volume no 
No, it's pure Bluetooth, which I really like, so I don't have to waste a USB port on the keyboard. Switching back and forth between my PC and my Mac is as simple as just pressing one Bluetooth button. And I can put my phone in the cradle and actually use my phone. Oh, and I can fit my tablet on there too. So in the end, I chose the Artec keyboard. It has everything I need and it's even, dare I say, healthy. The Edgeo is great though. Okay. And not too long ago, I would have picked the Edgeo easily. But as I'm getting older, I'm realizing I don't actually need the flashing lights. I just need something that works well and will be good for me. Hopefully you have enough information for you to decide on your own what kind of keyboard you need slash want. For me, it's the safe and sensible choice. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below what kind of tech you want to see reviewed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.